trying to see myself. I'm trying to see myself. Now them. Hey everybody. Well, I'm bringing you another mukbang. My head is cut off, but that's fine. I just want you to see what I made today. And I made mango with chicken gizzards and it's basically like parboiled I think it is in Spanish is mango with um something guiso oh my god I always forget I always forget wait hold on let me see if my TV is on because I had Google that. Oh, mollejitas guisadas. That's what they're called. Um, mollejas guisadas. And my hair looks kind of like black. Because I just washed it today. Anyways. Usually I don't do this. But today I'm going to. I'm going to say a prayer. And then we're going to start eating. Thank you, God, for everything that you um, bless us with, God. Thank you for, for um, being able to have a meal every single day. Thank you for everything that you bless us with, Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. I hate praying because I don't know how to... People always say, oh, like, you just pray. But I don't know. Like, I don't know sometimes what to say. But anyways, um, let's taste the mango. And it has a little bit of onion. Mmm. It's really good. Mango is basically... I didn't even take a picture. Hold on. Mango is basically um, green plantain. You bo boil it until it gets really soft. Then you mash it and put a little bit of salt and um, a lot of butter to make it like creamy. Well, let me take my picture. Mm, it's really good. I'm going to show you guys again what it really looks like. Hope you guys can really see it. And um, the chicken gizzards take like about like two hours to really make because they're really chewy. If you don't, if you cook them until they're cooked, they're really chewy, but you got to keep boiling them. Mm. It's so good. And I think I might get um full fast because I kept on trying the food during cooking. Mm. They said when you're low in iron, it's good to eat um, chicken gizzards because it has um, iron in it. And I'm very low, low in iron, and I need to get my iron up because my surgery next month is very important. Mm. So today, I'm going to be talking about when I came back from Puerto Rico. Well, I was born in um, Massachusetts, but I lived most of my, um, I guess, like, 
baby life and toddler life and when I was in PR and then when I was like a child then I came to the United States like I was already in school when I came to the United States It has peppercorn in it, so. Mm, but it's so good. I realized that it has chicken hearts in it. These are chicken hearts. But it tastes like chicken gizzards. Mmm. It's so good. This combination really does go together. I didn't know if it was. Because usually, um, mango is what Dominicans make. And they usually eat it with cheese, um, sausage, and eggs. And they eat that for breakfast. It's really good. Oh, and um, red onions. Mm. I'm not Dominican, by the way. I mean, obviously, I'm Puerto Rican, but their food is really good. It's kind of fem um, similar, but it's not a lot of things. Some things are different. Mm. Let me get a sip of my water so I can start my story time. So if um, a lot of y'all watched my videos before, you would know that um, originally I was born in um, Methuen, um, Massachusetts, and then I um, then I lived in Lawrence, Mass, for a little while, and then my mom went back to Puerto Rico to live with my father and my grandmother, and. We stay, we we lived there for a lot of years in Puerto Rico. My memory of Puerto Rico was like we lived for a little bit, but not that poor. Like we had a bathroom and stuff like that inside. But, like, I remember, like, I don't know. It was okay. Like, it wasn't bad. And, like, I used to play outside. I used to love playing outside. I had a big backyard. Um, and, like, my backyard was, like, it was, like, weird because it was, like, a hill going down. So we lived on a hill, basically. But when I was younger, my mom and my dad woke up, and my mom decided she was coming, gonna come to the United States. I was about seven years old because I remember I was in the first grade already. I graduated first grade because they do a graduation for first graders in Puerto Rico. United States, they don't do that. But out there, they do. <clears throat> I think, like, in the United States, they do, like, kindergarten graduations. Out there, they do first grade graduation. Mm. 
Mm. So good. But anyways, um, my mom moved us to Lawrence. Actually, we lived with my uncle for a little while, and then um, she, um, she and my uncle um, made it possible for us to have an apartment like. He didn't get the apartment for her, obviously, but he um, helped her look for an apartment and stuff. And then we had moved to Lawrence. I don't know where he lived at. I think he lived somewhere else, but like close to Lawrence. And then we ended up moving to Lawrence. And um, We lived there for a couple of months. I don't know how long. And I really like Lawrence because... It's a really small town. And pretty much everybody knows everybody there. We lived there, and I remember like my cousin used to visit a lot because they all live in Lawrence. Mm. Mm. I feel like I'm getting full. We all lived in Lawrence, and um, I used, like my cousins used to always be so hilarious. Like they always made me laugh. Um, I remember we used to have like a lot of sleepovers. My cousins used to always stay over, and there were I had mostly male cousins, and then um, I have I remember one of my female cousins like. Actually, I'm wrong. I have like three female cousins that I could think of on the top of my head that I used to really see all the time. And um, three of my male cousins that I used to see all the time. I have way more than that. But three of them, three of the females that I used to see a lot and three of the males that I used to see a lot. Uh, <clears throat> but other than that, I have a lot of cousins. I just don't um, see them because a lot of them move to different parts of the United States. So but that's another story. I remember when my mom um, met my um, her ex husband, which was my stepfather, and um, we ended up moving to from Lawrence. We ended up moving to Springfield, which is where I live now, and. Um, I was so sad because I was leaving my cousins behind and I already had made a big move which was from Puerto Rico to Lawrence and then like from like from there we ended up moving to Springfield so it was like I was so sad like I was like are we gonna move again like am I gonna like it there and then move again but um we ended up staying in Springfield, and we, um, obviously we've been living here for a lot of years, excuse me. <laughs> Today I had, like, the hiccups, I don't know why, but, um, my mom ended up, um, moving in with my stepfather, and we lived in Springfield for a lot of years, obviously. But 
we um I remember moving into this house and we lived there for a lot of years. Like we lived there since I came from Lawrence all the way up to I was about ten years old. So it was a couple of years I guess. It felt like a lot of years because obviously I was I was younger, but it felt like a long time. And um I remember when I first moved here I got enrolled into school and um but I was in Springfield around the summertime so like hmm. so what was I gonna say? So like um it was it was a very short summer because usually in Puerto Rico um we have a lot of um vacations out there. Actually no. Our vacations are longer out there but we didn't have I don't know, in in the United States we have a lot of days off. Like we had a lot of days off. And then the summer's a, lo a lot longer in Puerto Rico than it is in the United States. Get that out the way. <laughs> I was kind of like doing a run around. And then um, I remember it being summer and then my mom enrolled us into school and things like that. And um, we had these name like we had, it was like a, a neighborhood, like the street that we lived in was like a, a one way. So, like, obviously kids will play outside, they play in the street, because not a lot of traffic going in and out. And, um, I remember these three girls that were sisters that didn't like me and my sisters. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Because her, their parents were nice but they were like really mean and i think it was because of like their family because when their cousins would like they would play with us fine but then when their cousins would come over all of a sudden they had a problem with us like they didn't like us so for months they would like well not for months whenever their cousins would come around like they would bully us and stuff like that and um they would always bother us like for no reason and it wasn't all the time obviously we would play sometimes and it was like oh god like what are they gonna be acting like today are they gonna like us today are they not gonna like us like i don't know it was weird but, um, um, I remember, like, one day, we were coming out of school, and mind you, I was, I was the, one of the middle sisters. I was one of the middle sisters, but the older middle sister. So, um... It was me and my sisters walking home from school, and um, we would always see the two older girls, because one of them was like in kindergarten, and the other ones were um, um, actually the younger one was in first grade, because I remember my sister was in kindergarten, but my sister was really little. These girls were big, like they were in size that they were way bigger than all of us, all three, all four of us, all three, all four of us. So my little sister was in kindergarten. I was in second grade. I had a lot, another sister that was in first grade. And then I had um, my older sister that was in fifth grade. And, um, where you going?
whatever. So, I remember coming down the hill one day, and um, they came to us and they started bullying us again. But it was the two older sisters that we would always see because me and my sisters were all, um, we're in the same school. Those two older sisters were in middle school and we would walk home down the street, like we would walk down the hill home and, um, we would always see them, or we would always sometimes see them outside, like waiting for us. And that day, they were outside waiting for us like they normally do. And they start bothering us. And I always felt like I didn't feel afraid. I just felt like I needed to protect my sisters. And my sisters were um, scared. And I feel like that was my father's fault because when we first were in Puerto Rico, he told us that there would be people that would try to like bully us. So he kind of like put that fear in us already before even getting to the United States. In Lawrence, I didn't have that issue because I feel like because it was mostly family there. And when we came from to Springfield, we didn't have um, family here that we knew of. So... It, we were kind of like alone here <laughs> anyways um so i remember they would like bully us and then one day we were we were all playing outside and the youngest sister throws a rock at my little sister mind you actually my sis my little sister was yeah she was in kindergarten at the time when this happened or she wasn't even in school yet. I don't know. I remember she start like she started kindergarten when I was in third grade. So no, she wasn't even in school yet. But the little sister throws a rock at my little sister, and she was she wasn't even in kindergarten yet. I said she was, but she wasn't actually. Cause now I remember me. My my middle sister and my older sister would go um, and back and forth from school walking, so she wasn't even with with us when we would go to school and come back. But that day we were all playing outside. The youngest sister throws a rock at my little sister. Mind you, she's in first first grade. I'm in second grade. So I come like. The, um, that, like, that was, like, the first time I ever fe feeling this anger come inside me, like, this, I gotta protect my sister, and, um, I confronted her, mind you, I didn't know, she, she knew, she didn't know Spanish, I didn't know English, so I went to her, and I remember her sister telling me, it's funny because I understood them. I just didn't speak their language. I didn't speak English at the time. So I remember like the old, one of the older sisters saying that to let them fight because she was in first grade and my sister was younger and I was older than her. And I told her, and she's in first grade. I'm in second grade. She's way older than my sister, actually. And um, they weren't having it. Like, it was the middle schoolers, the two middle schoolers against me and the young aunt. 
Let me go. Let me go. rewind. It was the two middle schoolers, the one in first grade against me. Because my sisters were were fighters. They they're very um like very loving, very um like they don't fight. And I didn't either at the time. <laughs> but like this anger came over me when my sister was I felt like my sister was in danger. So in that moment that she threw my a rock at my sister, I think I punched her in her face and gave her a fat lip. The other one, because they all came towards me, I hit her with a stick. Like I grabbed the stick and she was still coming towards me and I hit her with it. Like I was not gonna stop. Like it's either me or you. So, I ended up just running home after I hit them. And then, see, I always, whenever something bad happened, I would always run home and hide. Because I thought, I'm going to get in trouble now for fighting. That was my first fight, never fought before. So, so, um, sorry, I'm taking out the peppercorns. I'm gonna take another bite before I finish my story. Mmm. Like all the flavors just go together. Mm. So when I went home. I had, I think all of us went home and stayed inside watching TV. Next thing you know, they're knocking at our door. And um, my mom answers the door and um, it was the cops and the, the three girls' mother. <clears throat> and, um, they're telling my mom all oh, that she, your daughter, hit all three of my daughters. And when I looked at them, I one of them had a busted lip. Like, I know for a fact one of them, which was the oldest one, had a busted lip. So my mom calls me outside. She's like... Why are they saying that you hit them? I come outside. And <laughs> I come outside. And the mom sees how small I am. She beats the hell out of her daughter's ass. She's like, that's the little girl that beat you. <laughs> she beat her ass in front of the cop. And um, basically, I told my story. She hit my sister. I defended her. Never had a problem with them. They always had a problem with us. Until that happened. But, like I said before, when their cousins came around, that's when they would act more tough. So, they stopped bullying us every single day. 
until their cousins came. And that day, I was in like another neighborhood. And I feel like it was a, a, a setup because when I was in that neighborhood, um, I was playing with my, like I had um, male friends, like boy, boy, they, I don't want to say boyfriends because then people think that I had boyfriends. I had male friends basically and they were all like around the same age as us and stuff. And um, so I was over there playing with them. So, one of them tells me that the cousins are around because they knew that we would always have, like, rivalries, basically. And um, I said, I'm going home. On the way home, I bump into all of them together. And I remember the cousin, like, they all coming towards me in a, in a group of in a group of girls and I was alone so I tell one of the boys can you walk me home because I know they're gonna um, I, for some reason I knew they were around I think somebody told us I don't know I don't remember exactly but I remember walking home with one of the boys and um Mind you, the boys were all brothers too. So we're walking home and the cousin comes up, steps to me and she gets in my face and I did not back down. I got in her face. And um, I remember all the brothers came out of nowhere. And um, the brothers were like, if y'all touch her, we're all going to fight you. So I feel like they just stepped, that, stepped back, basically, and was like, you know what? I'm going to let you be. Trying to act like whatever. Like it was whatever. Like, I'm going to let you be. Da, da, da. So we did not fight. But I felt scared. But... I did not back down. Like, I was ready for a fight. <laughs> but uh, after that, like, I never had to experience that again. Like, once I asserted myself, they basically backed down. They stopped messing with me and my sisters. So, from then on, we, everything was good. And then they eventually moved out of the neighborhood. So everything got even better. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I didn't lose you anywhere because, you know, I have ADHD. <laughs> I have ADD. I lose myself sometimes. <laughs> anyways, I hope you enjoyed the story. Please subscribe to my channel like and share and comment down below what do you want to hear next what do you what stories do you want to hear what do you want to know about me um but please subscribe to my channel i appreciate everybody that has subscribed already i appreciate everybody that watches um i love when people comment anyways thank you and have a good day bye